It's a real-life tale that reads like science fiction. A Dutch scientist using U.S. government funding creates a deadly synthetic virus, a super lethal bird flu. It makes it potentially the most dangerous flu virus that's ever been created in the world. Dr. Ron Fouché says he created the new man-made virus because, in his words, I wanted to see what was possible. He successfully transferred it to a ferret, a stand-in for humans. Now the government that paid for it wants him to keep the virus a secret, afraid it could become a blueprint for terrorists to launch a global pandemic. I wish that the work hadn't been done to begin with, but now that we're here, it makes the most sense. A panel advising the U.S. government is asking two major journals, Science and Nature, to black out details of Fouché's paper. Not all scientists agree. I'm on the, uh, the side of, of uh, publishing the information. Scientists want to know how the virus mutates and jumps from one species to another so they can stop it when it does. Some say that doesn't have to mean releasing a recipe for disaster. What might be held back from publication is the, the gene sequence of the virus, which might be useful to somebody who really wanted to make a nasty virus in the lab. They'd have to have reasonably sophisticated uh, equipment available. The journals plan to publish the redacted versions in the next few months. This marks the first time the government has ever asked scientists not to publish the details of a biomedical experiment. And they're doing it because while bird flu rarely affects people, when it does, it kills at an alarming rate. In 2009 and 2010, the H1N1 virus left an estimated 12,000 people dead. As scientists debate Fouché's findings, an outbreak of aviary flu in Hong Kong has authorities killing 17,000 chickens. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Washington.